much paint points so far in this first quarter. Yeah, and that, that rebounding, I'm telling you, I know what's percentages. Washington, their 10th in the WNBA in rebounds, and Atlanta's third, as I said. Sykes. That one doesn't go. As it's poked away by Sykes, so it'll be Atlanta basketball as they hold on to a 12 to 10 lead here. Sykes wanted that one back. You can see it on her face. And again, her arms are so long. She has a 6'5 wingspan and 5'9 body. So even if you try to protect it, she reached around and popped that ball right out. Nobody's safe when Sykes is around. There's Howard. Parker off the cross. Takes it right at Egbo, who checked into the ball game. A little too strong for Cheyenne Parker there. Hawkins. And they're going to call her for a carry. Taylor Hawkins for the Washington Mystics in her 10th season here. It's drafted by Seattle. And went down to the dream. dream. Yep, went down to the dream, came back. <laughs> uh, she won a title here in 2019 with the Washington Mystics. Jones attacking, a little too strong on that one. It's like I was in your thought bubble there. Walker <laughs> Kimbrough. Cloud survey. Goes to Walker Kimbrough, extra one. Hawkins off the hesitation left that short as Hillman controls the rebound. The last couple of possessions for Washington are shots that they want. Right? Those are nice spacing shots. They just haven't gotten him to fall in. Sam Hawkins trying to drive it and finish. Walker Kimbrough in transition lays it up and in for the Mystics. And transition is another thing that Washington will look to do. The steal and score mentality, they're going to have to bring that to the table as well. Very off the mark on the runner. Tied at 12 here. Still first quarter action. Under three minutes to go here in the opening quarter. Megan McPeak, Chrissy Winter Scott, Ariana Prather with you. Walker Kimbrough goes to Egbo, who slipped behind. Left it short. Now she's right there. Just have to be a little softer touch. Jones goes coast to coast, lays it in. Jones making the adjustment from Stanford. Coming here as a rookie, and it's a big adjustment. I mean, Nas Hillman had the adjustment last year. In Atlanta, they're the second youngest team in terms of minutes on the court in the league. Sykes too strong on that, and she appreciates the fact that she is, as Parker loses the handle, longtime partner and friend from back home, and Danielle Robinson, who returns to the ball game to help her learn how to make that adjustment. And we got to talk to them pregame as well. See NBA player Steven Adams in attendance to take in today's matchup. We love the support. A couple of Wizards players here as well. See Daniel Gafford sitting courtside in the building. She loved the continued support of professional basketball. Going both ways with it. WNBA. Going to NBA games, NBA players coming to WNBA games. They respect the grind in the process, for sure. Elena with a 14-12 lead here. Lee Mung into the ball game. Elena Deladon returning. Monique Billings returning as well. Here's Deladon. Hawkins. Loud off the slip, high off the glass. Too strong on that one. Robinson off the screen. No hesitation dribble, gets in the paint, gets that to fall. That's now a four-point four lead here. Oh, D-Rob had Elena Deladon blanketed all over her 6-5 frame. Couldn't get to the ball. Very crafty with it. Cloud working with Deladon, has helmet on her. Rises. Saw a little zone there from Atlanta trying to pack the paint, forcing Washington to move the ball. Jones, another coast to coast off the rebound as Atlanta takes the six point lead here. And now Atlanta has found their way to the paint. Six consecutive paint points for the dream. Washington also has six. Deladon pull up. And they're going to get a foul call on Haley Jones. 
see for the Dream, they've been deliberate the last couple of possessions in terms of pace of play. There's Haley Jones getting downhill, beating the primary defender, and then forcing rotation to disrupt. And Noam is there with a high hand. You can get your body there, but it's even more disruptive if you can also get your hands up to disallow the sight line to the rim. Jones has done a good job of getting down there and attacking and finishing as well. Deladon's numbers this season. And she gets both free throws. And then textbook mechanics from the free throw line. Elena Deladon minimizes her movements thanks to her dad. Telling her to utilize her shot mechanics like a golf swing. Gray gets that to go. Count the bucket and the foul for Alicia Gray. And Natasha Cloud wants them to review it, is looking at the coaching staff for a challenge. Now take a look. There's Cloud right there on Gray. And whenever you move your hand away, that looks like maybe you did something, but she moved her hand away, and I don't think she made any contact with the airborne shooter. You can see it on this side. See her pull her hand back. Take a look at where she landed, though, I guess. It wasn't up top, clearly. Cloud having a conversation with the officials. This is the play they're looking at. She said that she didn't move towards Gray. She's, and that's what she was trying to argue here. But take a look at Cloud's left foot. And I think it was just her physical momentum that kind of carried her left foot into that landing space. You can kind of see it this better be a on good here. Angle. Look at this left foot by Cloud right there. Ooh. It's going to be awfully close. There's the pass. Gray gets it. Definitely nothing up top. We're looking for a reckless closeout on Cloud. We'll see if if Gray was the initiator of the forward movement into Cloud's body or if Cloud indeed came underneath the airborne shooter, which would remain the same. And it appears that they're just going to leave it as a common foul. Uh, Gray will still be at the line with the opportunity for a three point play. Bruton, Tim Green, Ashley Gloss are officials this evening, and Cloud still having a conversation with the officials. It looked like when Cloud moved her hand away, whenever you, you go put your hands behind your back, like, oops, it looks like you have done something. And to the officials, they think that's usually you're committing you're, a foul. You're telling on yourself. Exactly. When really and truly, as a player, you're like, no, I'm trying to show you I'm not in there. That I'm not, right? <laughs> so, yeah. It's a tough one. Gray getting the three-point play at the free throw line. Here's Mung in the corner. Got that to go. Continues to be hot from that West Coast road trip. The shooting's traveling. You love Lee Mung, the 28-year-old rookie. A member of the Chinese national team. Won the title there earlier in this WNBA season this summer. But brings her shooting stroke. And she's best when she is automatic on the catch just to lift it. Gray, four seconds, pull up. Doesn't go. Cloud with the rebound. Shot clock turned off. Mystics pushing. Hawkins trying to save it. Does to Atkins. Left it short. Jones with time at the end of the quarter. Too strong as the Dream will take a 21 to 17 lead after one. Well, the Washington Mystics.